In this video, I'm doing a review of the Doc Green Notebook by Amanda Rachel Lee. So if you follow her, you'll already be aware of these. Um, if not, definitely go watch her YouTube channel. She's got lots of good bullet journal spreads on there. She's done a lot of bullet journaling, so probably came to the conclusion that a lot of the notebooks have really crap paper quality. They're really thin and everything shows through. So these ones that she came out with, which you can see in front of me, um, have a 160 GSM, which is really thick paper, and you'll see that in the pen test that I've done later in this video. And her covers are also a bit more unique than what you can usually find. Generally, it's just a plain cover with one color, or it's black. This one has some nice doodles on it, and it's got gold foil. Just looks a lot nicer than a lot of the others that are available. There's lots of different colors to choose from. I love this really nice blue. Um, it's a shade of blue that I haven't seen on another Doc Rude notebook before, so I'm going to use this one first. But I also got the pink version as well when she had like a promo deal um, sale in her shop. I also got the uh, Doodle Planner, which I'll do a review of in another video. Um, she had it on sale because it is dated um, until mid-2021. So if you want to pick up a copy and save some money, have a look for it mid-year when it will probably go on clearance. So the cover has the doodles printed on it and so does the uh, back. So the front and the back have the same design. There is an elastic band, which I've just taken off to film this review. There is a pen loop, so really functional. Um, bright white paper, as you probably just saw. It is about, I'd say 0 0.75 inch thick. I will have all the dimensions um, in the blog post, which will be linked down below. The only thing that I can think of as, I guess, like an oversight or something extra she could add for the next time she gets these printed is that there's nothing on the spine. So when it's on a bookcase, this is all you see. It's just plain blue. I think it would have been a bit nicer if she'd got the gold foil doodles and continued that down the spine. I think that would look really good. The page size is 8.25 inches wide by, sorry, 5.75 inches wide by 8.25 inches high. Um, so pretty standard size for a Doc Rude notebook. The inside has some nice doodles on it. It's not just a plain, this belongs to page. And then we go straight into the dot grid. So there is no pre-printed um, future log or index or dated pages or anything like that. It's very open-ended for you to do whatever you want with it. There's these two ribbon bookmarks. Uh, I think two is a good idea, but probably minor con um, nitpicking from me. I think one of them should have been gold to match the foil on the cover. And then it's a lot easier to distinguish if you've used like yellow for your monthly and then blue for your weekly or however you want to organize it. When you've got the same color, it can be confusing of which is where, like what you bookmarked where. There are page numbers on every page and they sit below the dock grid in the corner, which is much more practical than some of the other notebooks that I've seen where they have embedded the page numbers within it. So like the Rodeo Gold Book, I tried it and it really drove me nuts because you're ruling over the number and then you can't read it. And then I'm just rewriting the page number down below. So this one has already thought of that and it sits below the grid. There is no dots that are super close to the edge of the page either. You've got a bit of a gap on the bottom, on the side, up the top, and then also in the margin as well. And as you can see, the pages are laying flat on their own. If I turn it to another section, they're laying flat. And if they're not, you can always break the spine, which you've probably seen me do in a few videos now, particularly for these sewn bound um, Doc Rude notebooks. If you flip it over and then you pull the pages back towards yourself, then you will break the spine, is I guess like the lingo term for it. And anyway, then they lay really flat on their own, as you can see. So if we keep going, there are 160 pages of 160 GSM thick paper. So I've put that to the test with all the usual erasable pens, um, ballpoint, fine tip, gel pens, stamps, and highlighters that I usually test um, in all the notebooks. If we have a look at the back side of the page, there is nothing showing through. Maybe a little bit of ghosting on those Mammy stamps, very minor, but I can't see anything for uh, like highlighters or the thicker marker pens. So normally my uni peas and the pure color will show through and I'm not seeing that at all. So this paper is really good. Really happy with it. It's a five mil um, grid. Can't remember if I've said that already, but that's about the usual size that most of these Doc Rude notebooks come in. And it's also my favorite size for bullet journaling. I usually use every second line. So when it's a larger grid, say um, 0 0.25 inch, which is like, I think it's six mil, um, it's, it's usually too wide. And then I go through the pages of the notebook far too quick when I skip every second line. So five mil for me is the perfect grid size, which you'll find in this notebook. There is a pocket fold at the back as well, which is quite roomy. Um, you can fit a lot in there, some stickers or anything. No um, extras came with the notebook. It was just the notebook, there's no stickers or anything like that. Um, 
Sometimes they'll include it in some Dockery notebooks and sometimes they don't, so I just always check. So that is it for this review. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I will have the blog post with all the dimensions and everything linked down below. And once I do a review of the Doodle Planner, this one here, I will include a link to the review video for that as well um, down below once I have posted it. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually do a planner review or a bullet journal notebook review video each week. And the subscribe button is down below.